By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? And what is up, everybody? My name is JP, the host of the JP's World Podcast, the podcast where negativity ends, where we talk about everything, sports, movies, motivation, shows, current events, and more. You are listening to 20 Tim Minutes with your host, Tim McCarthy. Please That enjoy. is right. My name is Tim McCarthy. Welcome to another episode of 20 Tim Minutes, a podcast that focuses on mental health through humor insight and personal stories that introduction was done by jp with the jp's world podcast great guy great fellow a lot of positivity go check out his podcast i'm in a podcast fantasy football league that jp is in and i absolutely murdered him and by murdered him i beat him by 10 points but your boy 20 10 minutes is in second place right now with a bunch of other great podcasters um so i'll let you know how that ends and uh, I'm the general manager of the whole league, so I'll make sure I win. Um, but what is going on, everybody? Um, hope that everyone's doing good. Episode 51, crazy. I can't believe I've done Tuesday's episodes 51 times. Today's episode is a little bit late, so if you're listening to this now, it was a little bit late. Got home from work. I'm on my new schedule, 3 to 11. So I get, no, yep. So I get home at like 11.30, kind of tired, getting used to it. No more overnights, but... I am feeling a little bit more positive. I'm feeling more positive today. Took my Adderall right when I woke up. Had a meeting with uh, a potential partner for the podcast, which is exciting. People reaching out to me for interviews and partnerships is pretty freaking cool. So it gets me a little bit more jacked up about the podcast. I have been in a little bit of a, a downward, not spiral, but been... You, you run into podcast burnouts from time to time. And uh, it's not that it's not growing enough or I don't have enough followers or anything, but you just like, I'm doing all this work. I'm a one-man show. I record on Tuesdays, edit that, put up the YouTube. And don't feel bad for me because it's self-inflicted. Like, I want to do this. I signed up to do it. I made a promise that I'm going to do this until the wheels fall off, which I don't know what that means. Like, I know what the means, like, wheels fall off the car, it's over. But, like, I don't know what that would entail for a 20, 10 minutes for the to wheels to fall off. Maybe get assassinated. I don't know. But even then, I'll still record wherever I end up. And hopefully they get to you via via the internet. Or uh, how does Wi-Fi work? Like, there's things in life that I don't know how they work and we don't question them. There's no way anyone can tell me right now how Wi-Fi works. How does it work when, when you're driving? Or... Why doesn't it work in certain spots? They should put just whatever Wi-Fi is. It's like, is it a tower? Is it like a chip? Why can't we just put it in every tree? Or will it like melt the tree? Is Wi-Fi even healthy? (laughs) These questions don't make sense, but I don't know how Wi-Fi works. I actually don't know how a lot of things work. And I'm just cool with it. I don't even know how dreams are like a thing. Like my dog was dreaming not too long ago and he was twitching. And I was like, what is he dreaming about? How confused is he going to be when he wakes up? Like, I don't know what he's doing. Does he have issues like we do? Like, does his teeth fall out because he's insecure about his looks? Or does he try to bite the mailman, but he can't bite hard enough? And he's like, oh my God. Then he wakes up. He's like, oh, that was weird. We have dreams and just go on our day like they weren't weird. I don't know. Dreams and Wi-Fi. Gotta love it. Um, But back to being like burnt out a little bit. I am taking a hiatus on interviews on Thursdays. Those are a lot of work. Uh, I meet a lot of people for consultations because I want to be able to get to know them instead of jumping right in because I feel like it it makes a better uh, rapport and for a better interview. And it's always tough to say no to guests. And I, 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 I won't say no to their face, obviously, but even in an email, I feel like bad in a way, even though my show isn't that great. So it's probably better for them. And I love when people don't listen to my show beforehand. And I'm being dead ass serious because they don't know what they're getting into. And then when I play rock, paper, scissors, um, it's even funnier to me. But no one has ever uh, said no to that. And if they said no to it, I probably wouldn't post their interview, to be honest with you. 
Um, so I should put that in the uh, disclosure from my interviews. But yeah, I was taking on too many interviews. It was uh, it was just getting too much for me mentally. Like I have to record them. They're, they're much longer. I got to edit them, make the art. And I was taking on too many and then I like I missed one and like it just stinks. So what I'm going to do is uh, take a little bit of hiatus until further notice and then I'll have a bunch ready by then and it won't be more stressful for me. So sorry if you're a huge fan of the interviews, but they will be coming out at a later date. Um, but yeah, the uh, seasonal depression is coming. Uh, the time change I hate. Like they, there's mandated shots for COVID, which you can agree or disagree on. I don't care. I don't care what your opinion is unless it affects me. But can we vote on time change? Why do we need the time change? It was for like the farmers back in the day. They can make lamps and lights of natural light that like show the sun pretty much. So we don't need it. Don't need it. Everyone's depressed. It's 4.30, the, the, the sun's down. And you're like, oh, what is it, 11? You're like, oh my God, it's 6.38. What am I going to do? I'm already tired. And speaking of lights, obviously, uh, I know I always talk about those therapy lights, which I have one, but I don't use it anymore, and I should. Um, and I don't know if those help, but I feel like there's no, 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 like negativity or any cons to using it. I wish I brought it up here so I can show you, but I'm gonna just have a still of uh, if you're watching it on YouTube. Hopefully, it's in my hands, electronically, virtually. I don't know, but. Yeah, seasonal depression is coming. And I didn't know there was an acronym, acronym, acronym for that. It's called SAD, which is great. The the acronym committee was probably like, we nailed it. It's like the newspaper companies. Like they always love like a, a nice little hit headline that are like like cats stuck in the tree. It's like firefighters show up to the tree and they go, Are you kidding me? And they're like, nailed it. Um, but yeah, seasonal affective disorder, which I'm starting to learn what effective and effective means. I'm doing really well with that. And I get it. I just can't explain it. But when I write it, I'm like, yep, that means effect. It means to how you feel, but the effect that you do, I get it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh, just hit my mic. Sorry. Um, but there are ways to help with seasonal depression and I'm still learning about it. I ask people on Twitter what helps with their seasonal depression. I feel like a lot of people get it in different degrees. I think everyone gets a little bit of sad when it comes to the winter. I think people that love the winter and love the snow are, uh, you're uh, fucking crazy. I'll say it. I don't know how people like it. I don't know how people snowboard, ski, jump into the snow, make snow angels. I hate being cold. I live in Massachusetts. I didn't choose to live in Massachusetts, but I can choose to move. But I can't, or I don't want to, because I don't know if I'll have a cat closet somewhere else. And I hate change. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's different people that like help with their um, seasonal depression. People like, oh, I watch like videos of pandas, which is great. I like watching videos of koala bears and elephants and stuff like that. Um, big koala bear guy, if you guys know me, number one koala bear fan. It goes koala bear, elephant, and then probably uh, penguin. I feel like I could say dog, but dog is like in a different category. Dogs are like upper echelon. Then it comes to like wild animals. So koala bear, elephant, penguin. Those are my jams. Um, but yeah, um, it's funny because I haven't been doing a lot besides the podcast. And I've, I've obviously been slacking on it. But I have this pretty cool Venus flytrap that I have. And uh, those things are pretty legit. I haven't got to witness it live, but they legit eat flies. I go over there to water them, and they're, they're, there's a lot of heads coming out of there. It's I, I, I didn't believe in them, but I believe. Go get one. And uh, yeah, they're badass, man. It's like a fly is just like, oh, let me land on this plant like every other plant. And the thing's just like, nah, dude, just collapse it up. And I'm like, come, come be a fly in my house. See what happens. I, I had the electronic like WAPA, like the swatter. Those things are kind of cool because it's like you get the little spark. But sometimes the flies smell if they get stuck, which is super weird. But get a Venus flytrap if you got one. And I guess like having a thing like watering plants or taking care of a plant helps with seasonal depression. So I got to take care of my babies. I can't let them die. So little things like that do help out. And there's other things, obviously, like staying active um, and just keeping the body moving, which is a lot easier said than done. But go get a Venus flytrap. It will help you out a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, but yeah, like if you have dogs, I got two dogs, I got two cats that I help take care of. Um, they're a pain in the ass in different ways, various ways. 
Um, they, they, they scratch up this door, the cat closet. Again, that's why it's called the cat closet. I know people don't know that. The reason I call it the cat closet is because we used to keep our cat shit in here. Not literal shit, but like litter, uh, food, uh, toys, all that stuff. And now I'm like, beat it. I'll call it the cat closet, but this is where I'm recording 20, 10 minutes. So go adopt an animal. Don't buy a new animal. Stop doing that. Just buy one that's like sad. Sarah McLaughlin, like being all like, help me. Go with anything, cat, turtle, gerbil. I didn't know hamsters were like gen genetically created because you think about it, it's like, yeah, hamsters aren't in the wild. I didn't know that. Interesting fact, you learn something new every day. But one that I did read, I do a lot of my research online and I just kind of read the, the article uh, headline and I read a little bit of the show notes. So there's this mental health website I have and they have like, they know like people come on with ADHD like me and they just do like the... Too, T T L R too long, too long. Oh no, T L D R too long. Didn't read, so they just give like the bullet points, like the cliff notes. Big cliff notes guy. I was not good in school. I did the cliff notes, and then my buddy Duffy, I kind of he kind of helped me uh, cheat to get by. So shout out Duff. Um, but one that helps out is a music therapist said singing is a whole body experience, creating opportunities for intentional deep breaths and triggering the release of endorphins and dopamine giving you opportunities for increased awareness of your body and mind. So pretty much what I'm trying to tell you is singing helps up, helps you out. Whether you're tone deaf, Tammy tone deaf, you have a beautiful voice, you do karaoke, sing in the shower, whatever. Go sing your favorite song. I sing songs constantly, but I only do clips. So like I do word association pretty quickly in my head. So if like someone, I'm at a door and I don't know if it's pull or push and I mess up, they're like, oh, push it. And I'm like, dun, dun, dun. push it real good. And everyone's like, shut up. I think the smartest song of all time, do you know what the smartest song of all time, and she's going to make money until the day she dies and after, is Vitamin C, the graduation song. As we go on, we remember all the time. That is played at every school, fifth, uh, fifth grade, ninth grade. 12th grade college it's always been played her like i would love to see her check every graduation season she must get back like what is she doing right now vitamin c shout out vitamin c for the smartest song of all time but yeah if you have a song you love go out and sing it go belt it out go be happy get your venus sing to your venus fly trap i guess if people are like yo you gotta talk to your plants i'm like what that doesn't make any sense but i'll go talk to my babies down there I guess not naming them, but they have so many heads. If you're watching this on YouTube, I hopefully have a clip up. We'll see how lazy I am. But yeah, Venus fly tra traps, go get one. Um, so yeah, I saw this thing recently that like a school in San Diego um, created a mental health day off from school. And it was like, I think it's during this week uh, on Friday, which is cool. And like, that's very um, forward thinking from like that committee or superintendent, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Um, to do that, but then like the parents are super upset. It's definitely, a, it's a choice. It's not like mandated, like, oh yeah, not open. But again, I don't know if like the teachers have it off, which they should from time to time because they get to deal with kids and I was a pain in the ass in school. And, uh, but the parents are upset because they're like, oh, we have to make like, uh, like daycare plans or, or like someone to watch them or whatever. But it's like, um, how about you talk to them about it and maybe still send them to school and give them another day off or plan ahead. Like, I feel like that school would understand. And it, I think it's so funny that like, they're trying to help out mental health and people are still upset. And it's like, yeah, it's your life and, and it throws a wrench in your gears. But like, how about you, like you take a day off and stay home with your, your kid. Again, I don't have kids. I can't tell you what to do, but that kind of annoyed me. Like you, that just goes to show you cannot please everyone. And it, it just boggles my mind. But I thought that was really cool that um, that schools are even looking to do that. They should do that for like test weeks. Um, the MCAS, oh my God, I couldn't even tell you what that test was about. SATs, fell asleep during them. If I had an extra day off, I could sleep and then get a bad score while I was awake. C's and D's get degrees, baby. Um, but yeah, that was really cool. Now I want to finish up with this. Um, first responders and mental health. Um, 
they don't get enough credit. EMTs, um, police officers, firefighters, all that stuff. Say what you will about police. That's fine. I, I can see both sides of the coin. And I, I, again, I don't get into that. Everyone has their opinion. But all those people deal with some shit. Like, think about it. It's like police, people signed up to be a police officer before, like, things got kind of hairy. And, like, they got to go and still help out. Like, whether you have a family member that's a police officer or a police officer has to come out your family member. Like, they deal with a lot of shit. And, I'm not again, I'm not sticking up for anybody in their beliefs or whatever. But, like, uh, I'll transition to, like, EMTs. It's like, they got to go up and, like, pick up dead bodies. Like, the medical examiners, too. Like, they pick up dead bodies. Like, horrific murders, accidents, everything. And it's like, a lot of them, and I'm not saying, like, there's a lot of people like in all those uh, degrees where it's like that takes a mental toll on you, but you never want to admit it because you don't want to be vulnerable or weak because a lot of people at the jobs that even if they're not, they'll pretend that they're okay. And I'm going to say this. I don't talk about my job ever. And I'm going to do this one time and one time only because I don't want to put, put this podcast with my job because this is my own personal opinions. This has nothing to do with my job. I'm not speaking for my job. Um, again, this is my own life. I, I do 911 dispatch. I've been doing it for nine years. Uh, I'm a pretty good dispatcher, but I've had my share of a uh, of fucked up shit. And uh, I'm an emotional guy. You guys know that. And I, I've dealt with some of the worst uh, calls um, that I could think of with people uh, in their trying times. Um, and uh, I've, I've had someone die on the phone with me. And uh, that fucked me up. Uh, I was really upset. I feel like I could have done more even though I did enough. And uh, yeah, I was really sad. I uh, I obviously cried and then I had to talk to like the critical team or the stress team to help me out. And I'm not ashamed to admit that. And because uh, I'm very vulnerable in that case that like, and again, like I don't consider myself a first responder. Anybody in that field of like all that, like people say thanks to you or whatever. And they're just like, yeah, whatever. Like, I don't think I'm a first responder, but like, thank you for everything you do. I'm like, yeah, no more. Like I answer a phone, like I get it, but there are stressful things. And there's people out there that hold that in. And it's very sad because like that weighs on you. And then like a lot of police officers, firefighters, EMTs, they, they commit suicide. They can't handle that shit over time. Like, you don't. some people don't know what they're getting into until they get into it and they can't get out of it. So I just wanted to bring that up with me because I've dealt with it. Uh, from like all aspects you do get funny calls from time to time i could go on with stories like left and right um obviously i can't give many details about anything but i just wanted to say that one time and one time only what i do um because i again i don't want to cross cross those uh cross those streams like it's ghostbusters um but yeah that is a big thing that gets overlooked and uh anyone in like the first responder um world should uh should get help or if you know if you know somebody in that field, just straight up ask them. Be like, hey, man, I, like your job is pretty fucking gnarly. Like, are you all right? And a lot of them will downplay it, but you can always be like, are you sure? Give give your boy a hug. Come on, give me a little hug. But yeah, definitely uh, definitely go check up on those people. Go check up on everybody. We got to keep checking up on people. I've been feeling better. Again, today I woke up. I'm ready to go. I got shit to do. I'm going to upload this uh episode even though it's uploaded now which is super weird i don't know why i talk like this it's very weird um but yeah i uh thank you guys for checking out next week is my fucking yearly uh episode it's going to be a year since i uploaded 20 10 minutes and i don't know what to do for the episode i'm very excited to to celebrate that and to look back on all the memories and all the people that did introductions and interviews so definitely going to reflect on that uh so we'll have some fun on next week's episode looking forward to it so let's end with this. Uh, you know me, guys. I always have a song, and, and now I'm doing podcast suggestions. So let's start off with that. My podcast suggestion are my friends, The Sober Highway, which I was on their show. Um, two therapists, um, no, two cl- cl- clinical workers that help with people with addiction, their stories, doing a great job over there. They're uh, really good people, too. Um, so yeah, go check out the Sober Highway. I had really no business being on there because like, I still drink a little bit. I partake in the alcohol um beverages but it was good to have like uh conversations about that and we talked a little bit about uh mental health because mental health and like uh substance abuse go hand in hand so the sober highway good friends of mine go check them out 
And then my song suggestion is my girl Jojo with uh, small things. And I'm not talking about Jojo Siwa. I'm talking about it's a little bit, it's just a little too late, Jojo. Okay. She has a song called Small Things. She was very open about mental health and her mental health. And uh, that's like a really good story and uh, song that I really relate to. So go check that one out, Jojo, The Small Things. Thank you for checking out another episode of 20 Tim Minutes. I am your host, Tim McCarthy. Um, you can find me on the internet. 20 Tim Minutes 1M. You can find me, guys. You're smart enough. I got new stickers coming. I got the same stickers coming, but with a little bit of a tweak. I put my website on there because people are probably like, what the fuck is 20 Tim Minutes? Oh, there's a website. Let me go check it out. And I got new Fanny and Charles stickers. They're a lot bigger than I thought they would be. They're like, like this big. So I don't even know if I can mail them to you. But if you want any of those stickers, let me know and I'll send them out to you. You can always make a little bit of a donation for the show, which I always appreciate it. But thank you again, guys. You know what? You know what's coming. I love you. And have a go. This podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice diagnosis or treatment always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition if you are feeling suicidal please dial 911